morning YouTube got my uh, cup of espresso getting ready to work on the bike I feel a little bit lost with not wearing my yellow shirt my official YouTubing shirt and I just uh, it's dirty from recording the other day but so today what we're gonna do um, I, I talked a little bit about how when you cut the frame off with the uh, angle grinder I don't know what that little motion was I left a lot of bare metal I did grind with the angle grinder to kind of act as a file. I'm not really going to get down to the nitty gritty on filing it and making it as smooth as possible. Uh, maybe that's a little bit lazy, but I just don't know that it's going to clean it up, you know, all that much to be perfectly honest with you. But I do want to clean up around little bits and pieces. So um, I bought some 80 grip uh, to sand it down with. I bought some 320 grip to smooth it out with. I got some high heat, some high heat primer spray on there and I was looking at engine enamel but the only engine enamel I could find was a, uh, a gloss black finish and I don't I don't want gloss I don't want matte so I got a satin finish high heat uh, black paint so we're gonna find out what that's gonna do for me if I don't like it I can always uh, go get the the gloss black I think this is like seven dollars a can or something a couple other things came in this week um, now these little guys here, I got the blanking screws from Hitchcock's for the mirrors. Uh, these are going to add uh, 14 horsepower to the motorcycle, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, my gators came in. Uh, I don't know if they're wrapped in some kind of oil or packaged with some oil or something, but it's pretty nasty inside this bag. We're not doing this today. I'm waiting until I get the clip-ons and the headlight mounting bracket before I do all of those things uh, and thank you for the commenter who suggested that I get some screws some six millimeter uh, hex head screws with one millimeter pitch so let's get started on the motorcycle today shouldn't take me too long it's a little windy so I don't know how conducive that's going to be to painting but fuck it right well some of you might be thinking Mike how in the world are these little things going to add 14 horsepower well you see these uh, holes here, they create little vacuums and pockets of air. So as you're driving down the road, the air gets sucked in there and it sucks the bike backwards so it, you lose power. I really hope you guys know them. If anybody takes me seriously, like pretty much ever, I don't, I'm sorry. So here we go, 14 more horsepower right here. It's seven per side divided equally. Yeah, not bad. Uh, another trick I wanted to show you um, that I did this week to add significant horsepower. Let me show you right here. Put these little dice on the... Um, I put those little dice on the valve stem covers. And uh, the way that works is as you're rolling, as you're riding down the road, um, the dice rolls. And if you get uh, snake eyes, you lose 25 horsepower. And if you get double sixes, you get... 25 more horsepower and, and it ranges in between there depending on what you roll so definitely uh, a performance increase uh, most of the time and just if you roll the snake eyes you're just kind of shit out of luck so yeah there's no need to uh, question the validity of my horsepower claim on the dice just take my word for it it's true all of it so when I'm recording that's when all the ambulances and airplanes and everything else need to happen no other time i also should have preheated activated this uh the glue on the back of this light i knew that um, it was just a long day and i forgot somebody reminded me in the comments so i am going to get some adhesive and some little alligator clips get that a little more stuck on there you can see how torn up it looks so, like I said, I, it's ground and it's relatively smooth there. All I'm really worried about today is I'm going to sand all these bits and pieces off. I'm going to tape it first uh, so my sanding and my paint don't get further along the, the frame there than I want it. Let's get that going. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you for your help. Get that. Yeah. I'm trying to make sure I got all the birds off of there. Got it? Yeah, you fixed it for me? No, sir. <laughs> so I got this side um, pretty much where I want it. I mean, I could make it a little bit smoother, but not not very much smoother. So I'm gonna leave this one like it is. Um, like I mentioned in my review video, I don't think this is going to be a permanent solution. Um, just until I can, uh, one, afford it, two, figure out how I want to have a new piece welded on. But the good news is there's no more birds on here at all. It's, it's relatively smooth. Just the bottom is still a little bit rough, but we're gonna paint today, so that'll take care of a lot of that. This side's a little dirtier than the other side was. Papa. What, Bubba? You work on that side. Opa will work on this side. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's where I hit it with the grinder. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot better. This is a lot better than it was. It's really smooth now compared. So now, let's get this thing painted, man. Let's get it going. So complete overkill on uh, all this plastic <laughs> on the bike, but uh, I'm fighting with the wind, I'm fighting with my cat, fighting with my grandson to keep this still. And so I've got two coats of primer on right now. I'm gonna do one more primer uh, before I put some paint on. Yeah, we'll see you when we get to the paint piece. So we've got three coats of primer, three coats of paint. I covered the two uh, holes in the tubing up and then I, I took care of a little nick in the cross beam that, that I noticed while I was uh, prepping the frame uh, for paint. So I've got three coats of primer there, uh, two coats of paint on that one. That one's gonna be largely covered and in less danger of any kind of corrosion in my opinion. So let's unwrap it. Let's see what she looks like. should have gone with a gloss but the good news is it's not raw metal anymore yeah well the paint that I put on was a little thicker than paint that was already on the frame so I don't know how to fix that I'm gonna look up how to fix that we might do that over the next couple weeks it's black at least. Well, I probably should have gone with the uh, <clears throat> with the gloss finish. This is a satin finish, and clearly, three coats of primer and three coats of paint 
is thicker than uh, the layers that they had on there. I need to figure out how uh, to either buff that out to make it more even or what I can do there. I'm sure I can find something on YouTube uh, to do that. I'm not going to do it today because I want to let this set in real nice, but I'm sure I can get some polish and get that done. All right, so with that put back together, let's get cleaned up. Let's go ahead into town and get some little clips to put my light on better. Let's get out of here. All right, boys and girls. We are on our way to Lowe's. I'm going to go pick up my epoxy. Uh, my buddy Cooter told me to pick up this stuff called E6000. I've never used it. Uh, but I've already got Gorilla Glue Epoxy sitting there uh, waiting for pickup. I'm going to give that a shot. We're going to fix that LED light from coming off. Well, that's the plan anyway. Nothing real fast today. These roads that I'm going on are in neighborhoods and uh, 30, 35 mile an hour speed limits. So... happy with how my uh, paint job turned out. I'm not done. I'm not done with it like I mentioned. I need to buff where the lines are. Kind of smooth that out a little bit. Make it blend a little better. Right now there's a definite line between where I painted and where the factory paint was. I don't like that. But uh, yeah. I'm pretty happy with it. I have never done anything like this in my life, the uh, the mods on the motorcycle like that. Probably the most modded motorcycle I had prior to this was a Sportster that I put 18 inch apes, straight pipes, and I did an all inclusive uh, LED tail light and turn signal kit on that, but it was the same shape as the light that the, the original tail light that went on the Sportster. So I didn't have to rewire anything. I didn't have to locate a flasher relay. Everything worked just plug and play. It was fine. Uh, and even though changing handlebars to the little ones that were on there to the ape hangers in, involved swapping out cables and wires, I was largely a spectator on that. I did help the guy. I was in a motorcycle club back then and my sponsor in the club worked on bikes all the time and he helped me with them. Well, he did most of the work. I just kind of sat there and watched. Uh, I would hold things every now and then for him so he could get to them easier, but I didn't do the work myself, really. Oh, Lowe's. Everybody talks about Home Depot, man, but I don't know why Lowe's has always been my favorite both here and in Phoenix. I feel like the people are nicer. The store's more organized. I don't know. It could be subjective. I just like it better. Of course, liking something better is always subjective, isn't it? Veteran parking only. Got no way to prove it, but that's me. All right, let's head inside. Pick up my shit. Sweet. All right, that does it. Nice little quick trip. This is uh, the second time I've been to Lowe's in a row. I just talked about how much I like them, but this is the second pickup trip in a row where uh, they said my order was ready for pickup, but it was indeed not ready for pickup. The guys had to go get it off the shelves. <laughs> That's all right. It's whatever, man. <laughs> ah, just a little bit. 
Okay, once again, not really a big fan of... Alright, let's put this on here. I'm actually going to go get a paper towel and clean that up. Okay, let's get this side on. This side's not as bad. All right, we're gonna leave that to set. I hope that the two parts of the epoxy uh, mix together well enough, because I put them in there kind of separate. Don't really like how the applicator went, but that's gonna do it for today. Worst case scenario is uh, sometime off screen, I'll mix it a little better and then try to apply it. But either way, this is gonna work. I just have to be patient with it. Uh, thanks for coming along uh, on this journey with me again. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, We'll see you later.